All right. Halty TE905. Breaker. Hammer only. Switching on. But once she gets to the right speed, she just stops dead. That is a speed control problem. So on the bottom of the armature, the actual motor inside, there's a wee plastic ring with a few magnets on it. We tackle, we speed pick up. So as that rotates, the actual controller inside reads the speed and keeps our machine running at a constant speed so it knows how fast the rotor is going around. That wee magnet's actually broken now. So the machine doesn't know how fast it's going. Keeps putting on voltage to get it up to speed. That nose is now going too fast, not getting anything back. So then it shuts down. So that's what it's doing there. So, pull the motor out of this one to fix it. Looks like we've got a wee oil leak there as well. That's the wee tackle back in there. She's clattered in oil as well, so... Looks like we'll have to... Motor's this side. Brushes are fairly fresh. Has that fan destroyed? But it costs a euro. Triplets. Just easier to take it off like that. The mess of it with pullers. See the oil leak on the field. It's been washed out. The ceiling here's gone too, and actually, the whole bearing's totally failed as well. So we have to get that out. There we go. But there's your wee tack o ring. You can see where the actual metal filings have stuck to it. As it picks up the speed control. That's what the speed's actually, the controller's reading. Then we magnets. And if that's spinning on this, it's not getting the true speed. And she realises there's a problem and just shuts down. Your drive for your piston camshaft on side. We can slips back and forth. Same gear as on that bearing pinion in there. So that's that. Now we can get to this one. Shot. Too much slop. I can just prize out. That's your oil seal. Now, sadly, with this tackle, he's actually totally worn out the housing. It holds it. There's wee teeth here for it to locate onto. And as you can see, they're totally gone, so that's going to have to be glued on instead with a bit of iron date or something like that. It has actually been working at this before because these parts have all been painted. 
it's all fresh paint. No, it's fresh because the Viper Thunner's near it, it's taking it off. That's the oil plug for the Halty Hammer. Magnets on the bottom of it to pick up any metal shavings that could be on the hammer. Handy wee feature. Now, that's her washed down. First thing I'm going to do is refit this taco onto here. And because these are worn out, I'm going to have to glue it on. And the thing I've had most luck with is <coughs> this here Gorilla Glue. as an epoxy, two part epoxy glue. Sets in about five minutes or so. Mix the two of them together, get a toothpick or something, put it on the actual armature. More on these here teeth, put the two together, let them set. That's what I have the best luck with, to be honest. And be warned, the stuff stinks. All two pack glue doors. Give it a good mix. And then once you think it's mixed well enough, give it another good mix. I would sometimes give us a wee key. Some of the teeth are actually still left on this, so it should be alright. Plus this is a new gear, or a new taco going on. One thing you just need to make sure of. You're putting it on the right way. One side has fins, the other side smooth. Make sure the fins actually face down towards the rotor, to the windings. Clean off that excess as well. So that's what the bearings going on to. That way. So change that bearing. It's gone. I don't know how much grease is actually leaked out of this, so I'm just going to give this a top up. A good top up. That slides in there. It picks up on here. And obviously these screws need a wee touch of Loctite as well. Just get them located before tightening them up. Armature should be well enough set. Circle it back on. Now this has to be pressed back in. Have a jig for this and the press. And that is that end.
this takes roughly around 20 ml of healthy oil. It doesn't take too much. You don't want to overfill it. Brushes aren't that exact, they just need to be the right size. The extra we lead that plugs into here is just to let you know when to change the brushes. These healthy hammers have a service light on them, I'm sure that'll come on way before that. spring washer sets on there and last but not least one handle No service light. That's her. What is she hammer like? One healthy TE905 up and running again. That's the problem. Just keep stopping whenever you switch it on. That tackle's probably gone. This is probably one of the last really decent healthy hammers. Modern stuff now doesn't last quite as long. It's not as rugged and durable. These here were brilliant machines. I was one of the first to start getting a service light as well. When the service light comes on, there's nothing you can do. It has to go to healthy. But for longevity and power, these were brilliant machines. This was superseded then by the TE-1000, a lot more electronics and it's still a good machine, but just wasn't as good as this here. That's her, ready to go, hammer again. If you like this kind of content lads, hit like and subscribe. And if you want to see the newer stuff being repaired, join the Patreon, my Patreon channel, it's 5 euro a month or something like that there. All not funds to buy machines to strip them down and see what the the new tools are like. So if you want to see that stuff like that there, look us up on Patreon as well.